I want to show you my 1985 Mustang Predator GT302R. Hey guys, welcome to the new Lots of Vintage shop. We've just got this thing done, just got the floors down, nothing has moved in yet. We're on the basically the showroom side of the shop where we're going to be moving some of our collection in. So you'll see um, the next couple of videos we do, we're going to be installing some lifts back here and bringing some of the collection over. Today in the, in the shop here, I've got my 1985 Predator GT302R Cobra Mustang. I want to tell you a little bit about these cars. They're super cool. I'm really passionate about them. Um, I'm a huge fan of the four-eyed Mustangs, especially 85s and 86s. Uh, and there were a lot of cool tuner Mustangs being cranked out kind of in the Midwest in the 1980s. And I've tried to collect some good examples of those cars, this being one of them. I've been into the Predator Mustangs probably for 15 or 20 years now, kind of a nerd about them. Um, if you've got one, comment below. If you need help restoring one, finding parts, if you've got questions, Hit me in the comments below, would love to help, or if you've got one that you want to let go, I'd love to find another one to restore. This car is super special because it is a blue, we believe the only one built, our model 1985 Predator Mustang. Now they built six cars in 1983, that was kind of the test year for them. In 1984, they built roughly 130 to 135 cars. Same in 1985, so another 130, 135 cars. And then in 1986, when they went EFI, 25 to 30 cars. In 1984 and 1985, there were around 12 R models built each year, so call it 24 total. This car is one of the 1985 hardtops. What makes this really special is that it is light regatta blue, and we believe it's the only one done in this color that's an R model. So Predator cues that you will see as you're taking a look at this, all of the rub strips around the car got painted body color and body color key right in the middle of the tail lamps there. Obviously the two Le Mans stripes running over the top was a 1985 and 1986 thing. 1984s would have had the blackout hood treatment and actually would have had an American flag on the covering where it would have said GT. All of them had the rocker stripe here. If you had a black and gold one, it likely said GT302H, like a Hertz edi edition Shelby would have had in the 60s. Cobra emblem on the fender, and then the Cobra script, if it had the Cobra engine dress-up package, which this one does. As part of the R model package, this one also has a complete fiberglass hood where if you had a Reddit regular Predator, it would have had a bolt-on 85-86 style Shelby scoop. Hood pins was part of the package as well. All Predators would have had those hood pins. Again, the raccoon eyes got painted, and you'll see the GT302 emblem there where the Ford emblem would have been on the front of the car. Most of the cars, if not all of them, had some wheel upgrade. The vast majority of Mustang Predators had eight spoke Carroll Shelby Fox Mustang wheels. He was selling those on the aftermarket. I believe that Solomon who built these cars bought him out of every wheel that he had. And so I'll show you a photo of what those look like, but those are by far the more common wheel. This car, when the original owner had it built, she wanted the center line style wheels on it. And so she had them install these wheels as part of her Predator package. They would do some customizing like that for you. All Predator Mustangs would have, or hard tops anyway, would have the four point roll bar. And then if you had a, a convertible, you would have a thicker, instead of a two and a half inch bar, you'd have a three inch kind of style bar that ran over the back. They also have a walnut shift knob. Again, throwback to Shelby Mustangs of the 60s. You'll see the GT302 emblem there in the horn center, and then the GT302 emblem there on the far side. This car, being an R model, has a full fiberglass hood, and you can see how rough cast this is. I mean, it is super thick, and you can see actually in the mold where they taped over the holes that would have been on the steel hood. So, you know, 
real kind of cottage industry, but I think that's what makes these things so cool and gives them so much character. And I've had the engine bay completely restored. It's back to stock. Um, this car had actually been unmodified, so it's always been stock. It's got the stock polycarb there on it, date coated spark plug wires. This car was a really nicely preserved example. The open element air cleaner was part of the Predator package. What I haven't put back on yet is a 302 high performance sticker that should be sitting right there. All Predators would have this vehicle modification error. Now what I haven't bolted back on here yet is the Monte Carlo bar that should be running right across the engine bay here. I'm going to put that on next. I was in the process of, of restoring that so normally you would see a black bar running across the engine bay there. And then this one has the Cobra powered by Ford valve covers. You can see down there, there's the underdrive pulley. Uh, that was a Ford Performance underdrive pulley and was part of the R model package. I've had this car completely restored, rotisserie restored. It took me many years to track this car down and talk the owner into selling it. It's one of my favorite colors on a Fox Mustang and I love how rare this one is in this color. I think it's just absolutely stunning. And I'm also, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm really into the 80s tuner Mustangs, especially the four-eyed cars. So with this one, and we'll do some video specials here as we start to get the collection moved in, I've got a 1985 Dominator GT Mustang that would have been built in the Lee Summit, Missouri area. Um, I've also got a M81 wide-bodied Mustang, a 1983 that was built by the dealership that built the Dominator Mustangs. And then I've got a dark shadow blue 1986 Saleem that is one of only three Saleems in 1986 built in that color. And that car is currently being restored. Guys, I'd love to hear your feedback on the type of content that you're looking for. If you'll comment below and let you know, let me know what you thought of this video, I'd love to hear it. If you've got questions on the Predator Mustangs, I'd love to answer those for you. I'll answer every question that I possibly can if you'll post it below. And then I'd love to hear what type of content you guys are looking for. We've, we've got lots of Fox Mustangs, kind of rare Fox Mustangs that we're going to be posting about. We're doing old Broncos. We're doing old trucks. So let me know what you're into and what you want to see. Do you want to see some restoration vlogs? Do you want to see some videos kind of breaking down some of the rarer stuff that we have and what to look for? Let me know what you like and we'll do our best to accommodate. And as always, if you haven't, subscribe below. Follow us at Lots of Vintage on Instagram. That's Lot with two T's. And we'll see you on the next one.